I don't think there's an RV I was more excited about than this Keystone Alpine 3912 DS. This is the big brother to the Keystone Avalanche 390 DS that is going to be a dual suite with two full bedrooms and they get rid of the loft in this model. So you just get a much bigger bedroom and bathroom space than you did in the Avalanche 390 DS. So this is a true dual suite that is much more practical for people without kids or people that don't maybe need all that extra sleeping space of a loft. I think you're really gonna love it. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're gonna be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe, and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, so this is the 2023 Keystone Alpine 3912DS. Again, this is going to be like the big brother now to the Keystone Avalanche 390DS that many of you have seen. That's my most popular video on YouTube to this day. So this is the big brother to it. You see the floor plan layout here where you have the queen bed in the back, king bed up front, and no loft over this queen bed, giving you a much bigger bathroom back here. This is gonna be great for people that are really tall, looking for a taller shower, because you'd have to be like nine feet tall to not fit in this shower. And then you're going to have a pantry, a walk-in pantry in this model as well, which is something the Avalanche 390DS did not have. Also, a lot of other things we'll talk about as we go throughout. You have a 100-inch wide-body construction on this Alpine. Um, you're gonna have three ACs in the Alpine in total, actually. You have an electric power cord reel that's on an Alpine, but not on an Avalanche. All your solar options. And I think that's pretty much everything. I'll go through some of the differences as well as we go throughout. But even little things like the Avalanche is gonna have a 10 inch I-beam frame and your Alpine is gonna have a 12 inch I-beam frame. So a bigger frame on the Alpine than on the Avalanche. Um, the Alpine has had a tankless water heater for years. That is now going to be on the Avalanche as well. That used to be something that separated them, but not so much anymore. Um, but we'll go through some of the other things. I'll point out differences as we go. You have a full fiberglass front cap here, really hard to see because we're parked so close. And then you have the hitch vision plate here. So you can see your hitch lining up with the um, pin box here as you back that up. And then you have your road armor pin box there. So that's gonna pivot back and forth when you brake and accelerate with this big thick rubber bushing there to absorb a lot of that shock. You have your docking lights up here as well. And then down underneath here, you have all your access into all of your solar equipment down underneath here, your battery disconnect as well, and your inverter. And then um, a little thing, a little change too, you have these solar disconnect panels there. So if you're in a situation where you don't want the solar going or sending power to those batteries for maintenance things, or you know if you're working on something electrically, or if, um, I was trying to think, or if like, if you're in a you know below freezing situation and you don't wanna leave that battery heat on, um, because I guess you're not supposed to charge lithium batteries in below freezing temperatures. So you can turn that off so that solar panel is not sending power to those batteries. Nice big storage space in here. And then this is pretty cool. Furion has this flat 50 amp power cord here. So I don't know if this is something that is going to be being sent out with these models or not. But this is an option or something that I've seen in a lot of different trailers where it is a flat power cord instead of a big bulky round one. That's pretty cool. We'll actually go around the non-camp side since we have room to do that through here. You're gonna have both your propane bottles in the same cavity here on the Alpine. Two 30 pound propane bottles. One thing I love about the Alpine, your slide out box is super tall here. So you'd have to be about probably 6'6 before you'd have to even think about hitting your head on this. 
very easy to walk under, something that I noticed being 6'2", that um, not all models are like that because I've hit my head on these slide outs many a times over the years. So really tall slide out box there. You have the, your pass-through storage compartment here. It is climate controlled with heat and cool air coming into this area. Nice finish to the flooring and you do have the D-rings here to secure things in. We'll look at that more when we get to the other side as well. And then with your water connections, you don't have anything to duck under here as well because the way the door opens to the side, nothing you have to duck under. You're gonna have all your water connections up in here as well as the key TV plug for satellite TV. All your uh, tank pull valves there. And then that's everything you need for all your water hookups all in this one spot that you don't have to duck under anything to get to. Tankless water heater access right here. And then you have a hydraulic rack and pinion style slide out mechanism here as well as when we get underneath here, you're gonna have all your water tanks and water lines sitting in the enclosed underbelly there above the insulation. So anytime you run your furnace, that's gonna help keep those water tanks and water lines from freezing. And in the Alpine, you also have the additional um, 12 volt heat pads on all your water tanks. That'll be an electric heat source to prevent those from freezing. And as we keep going around, you'll see that you have prep for side cameras here. If you wanted to add side cameras onto an Alpine, and then as we go through here, this will be your vent for in the kitchen there so that you can vent smells out of there. And then you have the Swintec slide mechanism on your smaller slide outs. Looks like you have two different drain spots here. This is gonna be a black and a gray for the full bath in the back. And then it looks like you have a black and a gray up front as well. So you'll have two different spots there. Definitely gonna be a common thing as we see in these dual suite models that have two full bathrooms. You're gonna have two different dump points there because of how many tanks there are going to be. Electric power cord reel. So this is standard on an Alpine here where you have this power cord reel. That way you don't have to mess up or mess with winding up a cord in the cold weather or carrying this bulky cord around. You have the power cord reel there and that is standard on an Alpine. Coming along the back wall, you have frameless windows on your Alpine as well. Backup camera prep ready. You have your ladder on the back wall and then you do have an accessory hitch back here. So this is a 300 pound rated hitch just for accessories back there. Coming around this way, oh, that uh, power cord reel is something that is also not on the Avalanche. I would get up on the roof, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just get up there real quick. 250 pound rated ladder here. Try not to slip because it has been raining all day. Get up here, you can see the three ACs there. And then this one only has a 200 watt solar system. However, my dealership, we always order these with a 400 watt solar system. So. That's something you can expect when working with me and purchasing your RV. We pretty much always have a 400 watt solar system, but that's gonna be a 220 watt solar panel there, three ACs up on the roof, your wine guard digital antenna, and these are the low profile, it looks like, AC units that we have up here as well. So that's pretty much everything on the roof. Let's hop back down and go inside. So again, big frameless windows on this model. You have your awning on the slide out, plus your awning up over this area, outdoor speakers, and then I said we'd look at the storage up front here as well real quick, That's where you have really big storage area. This is your wiring panel here. You have a touchscreen control panel in the Alpine that is something that's not in the Avalanche that will control the whole RV, also allow you to control elements of the RV from your phone. And this is where all the wiring is accessed from there, where Keystone has their color coordinated wiring behind there. So you can figure out exactly where each wire goes with the legend that's on the back of this panel. And then here, you have your two Dragonfly 100 amp hour lithium batteries now coming on every single 2023 Keystone RV with another plug here to add more solar there as well if you wanted to do that. Plus on the roof, you will have additional plugs to add in more solar already prepped in. That's something I have yet to see on any other brand where they're coming with additional plugs on the roof to add more solar from the factory. So that is gonna save a lot of money if you plan on adding solar to a rig that's already on a lot that has solar on it already where they won't have to do the wiring job to add on that extra solar. So again, this is the Alpine 3912 DS. DS standing for dual suite. Definitely gonna be a four season RV, have everything that you need. I think the Alpines are rated from negative 14 to 100 degrees. So rated to that below zero temperature. And then this is your living room area here. Somewhat similar to the 390 DS. You have the big windows on this side. Um, different than an Avalanche, you're gonna have day and nightshades where the Avalanche only has nightshades. So you get the day and nightshades in the Alpine 3912DS. Recliner seating here. 
table here that is mounted to the sidewall there. So if you did want to take this out, you can remove that. It's just screwed to the wall, screwed to the frame there, and you can unscrew it, put other furniture here if you want to do so. And then uh, this does have a leaf that comes out as well. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I don't want to mess up the decor on there. Coming around this way, Alpine, again, it's a 100-inch wide-body construction fifth wheel, and you have about 6-foot, 10-inch slide-out boxes. So they are just absolutely huge with how tall they are and easily can walk in and out of these. You'd have to be, again, about 6-foot, 10 or so to not be able to walk in and out of these slide-out boxes. And if you look at the height on slide-out boxes, you'll see that is not very common where most slide-out boxes only come to about right here or so. So that gives you bigger windows as well on your campsite than most fifth wheels. You have a solid surface countertop with a new countertop color here than what is in the 2022. It's not a huge difference, but a very clean look there. You have your fireplace here that does put out heat. It is actually turned on right now and it's almost, I mean, it's kind of warm out here. So, or kind of warm in here. It's about 60 degrees outside or so. So it's not very warm outside, but it is warm in here just off of that fireplace alone. So it'll definitely do their job. TV here, this will swivel out a bit. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate, oh, yeah, yes I am. Okay, here we go. It will swivel out a bit, so you can see it pulls out just a little bit and you have the swivel mount back behind there. Inverted outlet there, so with the 400 watt solar system, you'll be able to watch your TV without having to be plugged into shore power as it'll run off that battery and inverter. And then you'll have your storage space up above the TV there. Speaker system right in front of you, right where that's all at with your stereo setup. And then another difference between the Alpine and Avalanche, the Alpine comes with the Insignia four burner stove here with the biggest oven in any RV. So you can see it's a 3.7 cubic foot freestanding gas range for RVs. Definitely huge. Then you have this kind of heating tray down underneath here, or it could be used for a little bit of storage. And the convection oven microwave combo, which you also don't have in the Avalanche as it's just a residential size microwave. Unobstructed storage through there. And hopefully as I'm pointing these things out, you can see just how much more you get in an Alpine. There's really a lot of stuff that they pack in here that's not in an Avalanche. So really excited to see this floor plan in an Alpine that has a lot more features on it than an Avalanche. The Avalanche is still great. A lot of people love that Avalanche 390DS. I love that Avalanche 390DS. My family has a Cougar 364 BHL, and if, an, if a used Avalanche 390DS came in, my parents would have jumped on it immediately. Um, but they haven't had their Cougar long enough to justify wanting to get out of it yet. But they love that 390DS, and this here is just a really good alternative with a couple extra options. Solid surface sink covers. Open this up and you have the big sink here, and then you have the smaller sink here next to it. Stainless steel sink as well. You have your storage next here, next to here with the four pull-out drawers. Spot here for your trash bins and storage underneath here. And don't forget, Alpines have soft closed cabinets just like the Avalanche does as well. So all your cabinets throughout here will be soft closed. You have your wine rack up above the refrigerator, and then this is a residential fridge, the Samsung refrigerator. And I'm actually not gonna open it because they have that thing already there in place, but this is gonna be the same interior setup that we've seen in any kind of French door style refrigerator in RVs. And then you'll have your drawers in the freezer with the ice box in there as well. So we'll make ice. Now this is something that's really impressive where the Avalanche 390DS did not have a pantry and the Alpine 3912DS does give you a walk-in pantry. So this is the same pantry setup we've seen in the Alpine 3712KB, the front living model. You have this huge pantry here, new backsplash design in here, looks really nice. And then this is just gonna give you a ton of storage. I'm not even gonna show you all the storage because there's just so much. But yeah, you'll see all that there. And then, more storage down underneath here as well. Plus, you have stuff off to the sides here. I'll show just this one so you can see that shelving, but all four sides up above here on both sides and down below on both sides will have storage as well. Countertop space all the way around, outlets on both sides of that back wall. And then these doors just slide closed here. If it's, uh, oh, it's connected in there. It's got little latches there holding it in place. 
slide closed with the magnet latch there to hold it in place when you don't want to look at everything in there. So really sweet setup with that. As you come back into here, now this is where it's really unique as well. Compared to the Avalanche 390DS, you had the stairs that drop down into that second bedroom back here. This is flat all the way across through to the back. So you don't have any steps to deal with. Sliding pocket door going to the second bedroom. And this is going to be your queen size bed back here. And look at the ceiling height in here. Huge windows up above the bed, letting in a ton of natural light. You have your AC up here as well. And then you have all of your different storage all throughout this area here. It's pretty similar to the storage that we saw in the Avalanche 390DS, although it's just a lot more of it because you don't have the loft overhead. So they added in all this stuff up here. This is unobstructed all the way through there. You have much taller storage here. They actually put a shelf all through here. Actually, you know what? I'm a little surprised not to see a clothing rod in there. So that's a little interesting. I wonder what the decision was on that, unless maybe, huh? A little interested on that, why there's no clothing rod. I would have thought for sure those were closets for hanging clothes, but really big storage there nonetheless. I'm sure that's a, you know, something you can easily get a clothing rod in there and figure that out. Three drawers there that pull out your tabletop space here, and then you have a TV already equipped in here. Again, Avalanche did not come equipped with TVs in the back bedroom or in the front bedroom where an Alpine will. Sliding pocket door going to the second bedroom. You do have storage up underneath the bed. I already know everybody's gonna be asking me, can you take this bed out and make this area into a desk? You would just have to take out all of this framing that is underneath here and take out this bed portion and then you'll just have the lip back here where the slide out is at that you'll have to manage and worry about. Two outlets here on this wall as well or one underneath here and one right there. But yeah, so if you wanna take this bed out, you can see kind of where everything would be that would need to come out to get it back to this spot right there. And then maybe you could build something on top of that if you take all this framing out and whatnot, if you wanna turn this area into kind of a desk in the slide out. So is possible, can definitely be done. You have your reading lights up above there for each individual and then outlets on this side as well with your bedside tables. Pull down blackout shades with the balances that go all the way around the window so no extra light is gonna creep through there. You have a headboard there as well. Pull down blackout shades on those windows and pull down blackout shade on this window. Now, oh, before we go into the bathroom actually, residential uh, air filter in your AC and then you can see you actually have four AC vents in here in the roof or in the ceiling. So not gonna have to worry about keeping this area cool. Definitely gonna stay cool very easily and you do have a dimmer switch for the lights here so you can dim the lights in this area as well now as we go back through here my favorite part of this fifth wheel is this bathroom so many people looking for a shower that they can fit in especially if they're over like six feet tall and just struggle to fit in a shower in an rv first of all look at all that storage but then look at this shower your ceiling height all the way up there i mean i can't even touch the ceiling i'm six foot two with a pretty long wingspan and cannot touch the ceiling and you have a fiberglass one piece shower back here, just like you would have in a main bathroom in a fifth wheel with the molded in seat. And literally would never even come close to the ceiling. You'd have to be like eight, nine feet tall, something like that. This here sits right at about where my nose is at. So I'd have to lift this up to get it up over my head. But other than that, this shower has all the height that you could ever need to fit in no matter how tall you are. So this is amazing, giving people an option where they're not you know, stuck with the shower that's up front that is always only ever gonna be about maybe six, five to six, seven in total height up into the skylight. This gives you, you know, this true unlimited height shower that is going to make you feel much more comfortable if that's something that's been a concern of yours. Across from here, you have your sink, lots of countertop space. You can see the setup they have on display here. And then you have storage down underneath here and lots of it with your soft close cabinets. Two medicine cabinets as well. So one sink, but two medicine cabinets. And then unobstructed storage all the way through up there. So you have three different things to open up there and you have the max air vent fan. So the bigger vent fan here in the bathroom as well with your AC ducting. Controls for the vent fan are right here and then that's pretty much it in this area. You also have this little cargo net area back here as well. 
And as we go back up to the other bedroom and bathroom, I would actually almost consider more of this like the master suite or the main master suite, although this is a queen bed, but you do have the bigger bathroom there. And I guess you have what would be your traditional master suite here where you have a bit smaller bathroom. And I also wanna point out as we walked up here, you have the in-command system here, the touchscreen control panel that's not in an avalanche. So this Alpine, you have the touchscreen control panel. This will link to your phone. So everything this panel does here, you can also control from your phone. Things like your uh, HVAC system, your ACs program them when, they, when you want them to come on and off. Check your tank levels, move your slides, your awnings, and then you have the 12 volt tank heaters here on your water tanks as well, which is not on the Avalanche. So that's another feature that you get here where you can put the heat onto your water tanks if you're driving this RV down the road and you have water in your tanks and you don't want those to freeze. So your bathroom here, you're going to have the fiberglass one piece shower, has the molded in shelving there and the seat as well. You have your sink there, linen storage next to it, where you have that linen storage all along there. Your lighting up above looks really nice. And then your medicine cabinet here, where you can see your shelving there, nice deep sink that you have in here. And then this isn't like a, this doesn't feel like a plastic sink. This is that a uh, stone cast sink. So definitely a really solid feeling sink in there. Your shelving, inverted outlet in here as well. And then a porcelain toilet here. And then going into the bedroom, you have your king size bed, have your reading lights over the bed there as well. TV installed in the bedroom, which you don't have in an avalanche, but you do get in an alpine. Valances along the sides of the window there. And then you have washer dryer prep in here. So you can actually get a stackable washer and dryer in here as well. Uh, at least I think. Yeah, yep. Just wanna make sure, have spot for washer and dryer. More storage all back through here. You have your shelving here. There is a light back up in there as well. And then this slides across. You can see you have your shelving on each side here. You do have outlets there as well. And you have your shelving on this side with outlets over here. And then you do have storage down underneath the bed that is framed out. Bed lifts up nice and high. Sometimes the beds don't lift up this high, so that gives you lots of room to get down in there. And you have your other AC here with the residential air filter as well. With four AC vents in the bedroom, so lots of airflow coming into here as well. And you have two shelves here, or sorry, four drawers. Wow. You can tell it's getting to the end of the day. I've been filming for about 12 hours today, and I can't even tell you how many RVs I've filmed because I don't remember and my brain is literally feeling like it's turning to mush right now. But you have a dimmer switch. I just realized the lights weren't even on all the way. But you have the dimmer switch in here for your lights. Give you a bit more of a moody light there. Open this up, run back out and that gets us back out into your living area. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm very curious to see what you think about this model. I want to point out you have a ceiling fan in here as well. And then you do have the third AC in the middle. But I'm very curious your thoughts on this model. Definitely curious your thoughts of comparing this to the Avalanche 390DS. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, it is a 2023 model, so I don't know exactly when these will be available to purchase. But if you wanna contact me or leave me your contact information down below with that first link in the description, I will get in touch with you. We'll see what pricing information we can figure out and maybe you can get one of the first ones of these in the country. So pretty excited about that. You can get a deposit on an RV before it actually arrives to get your name on it, to get that first rider refusal. So we can see if that's something that we can do there and help you in getting you into one of these RVs. So go down to that link down below the description, select the Mesquite location. That is where I'm located at and I will be able to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.